took a little bit of work, but after uh, rebathing it, I got my squares cut out. So these are the receivers basically for 5.8, about 16 millimeters across square, and then the connectors to the center tab equally spaced so that you have two off of each side of each lead basically. It might not work great, but it should work a lot better than what I've built before as far as patch antennas go. So there you go, soaking in the ferric, chlor uh, ferric chloride. And be careful about that after some reading. I, it doesn't really affect my fingertips so much, but I do wash my hands very carefully afterwards. And it's nothing to be bathing in, so uh, there you go. Be careful, watch the fumes. If you heat it up more than 110, it's going to start venting. So the warning's 135 uh, chlorine, I guess. But uh, other than that, we'll get this mounted onto another solid piece maybe of, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of, maybe aluminum if we can clamp the ground to it, but we'll probably solder it onto another piece of copper clad as a reflector in the behind it uh, position and about six millimeters off the deck on this one. So we'll put some foam in between this and the back reflector and then feed our lead wire through that hole that was already there, which is tinned and everything else. So there you go. 5.8 gigahertz panel antenna, quite artistic, not scientific. <laughs> okay, it's done, and I figured out a great new technique. We're going to use a uh, clear packing tape and just cut out the areas you want etched. All those squares are clear pa packing tape now, so we'll uh, wash it off and I'll give you a look at that. So I've uh, soldered crudely, well, really strong though, a very small IPX to SMA connector which I got from the uh, recycled antennas, from the control box to the antennas. So I'm going to use that to attach to my uh, secondary uh, receiver uh, SMA. And then we'll try this out. I put a reflector on the back, just the standard 900 size one of the two and I fed it through <coughs> the stripped down IPX cable from there and I added a patch wire from here to here so I could center it nicely and now it's attached there next step would be to take on the ohms reading or beep continuity check all your pads make sure that they all are connected and then check this part, the center part, and the center part of the SMA pin that's going to go in your receiver and make sure this is isolated from the reflector below. That's really important. Sometimes there's a small strand of wire that gets through when you're stripping the, the uh, center core. So be really careful about that. But there you go. That should be a working antenna. and I'm, I'm, It's crude, but I think that it's going to have some pretty good performance. We'll find out.